First step will be to log into the Denka Design website, denkadesign.com, and click on the Start Denture Project. If you haven't done so already, it will be necessary to sign up and create an account first. Once created, log in and click on the Create New Project button, where the system will ask you to upload your scan files. Uploading Scanned Files Whether you are designing a single arch or a complete set of dentures, the first step is to obtain three scan files of the current case you are working on, maxillary, mandibular, and bite. Before you start uploading your files, it's important to ensure they do not have any holes inside the intaglio area you are planning to use or trim and are free of steps or multi-layers in the case of an intraoral scan. To upload your scan files, drag and drop or add the files with the browse button one by one. Pay close attention to what type of scan files it asks for during each step. Please note that certain scanners already align the byte automatically and only release two files, maxillary and mandibular, in their output format. Entering design information. On this screen, you will enter patient information and select each option that best suits your design needs. If you will be designing an immediate denture case, please select the immediate denture function on the information screen and ensure your scan files are uploaded with the teeth still present. A function a few steps ahead will allow us to remove the teeth we plan to extract. If you already removed the teeth from the model and do not require to remove the teeth with the software, it is not necessary to select the immediate denture option. It is very important to select the correct impression type, denca tray or wax rim. If you select Denka Trays, it will ask for the upper lip length, which can be obtained during the impression appointment with a Denka Lip Ruler. If you are designing a single arch mandibular with a Denka Tray, please enter an arbitrary number from 1 to 10. For any other cases with intraoral scans or stone models, select Wax Rim. During this stage, you may select various options in teeth arrangement, shape, and height of the post dam and festooning style. Please note that the no post dam option should only be used during try-in adjustments, but not as an initial selection for new cases. Once all teeth and gum selections have been made, please select your printer from one of the below options. If the printer is not on the list, you may select others and decide whether you would like regular margins for 0.3mm sockets or thin margins for 0.2mm sockets. When all the information is selected, click Next to proceed with matching. Matching. Before we begin, as an important note, if your scan files came in a pre-aligned format, you may skip the matching step by clicking on the Skip Matching button on top. Also, if you need help at any point in the design process, you may click on the Guided Tour button which will open a window with a small tutorial for that section, as well as reviewing important notes for that step. Now let's begin the matching process. During this stage, we will start by matching the maxillary arch with the bite. On the 3D rendered screen, you may move or rotate the models by pressing down on the left or right mouse button on the model and dragging it in the desired direction. Pressing down the wheel button or the middle button on the mouse will allow you to drag the impression to the center of the screen. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. To begin matching, click on an identifiable point on the byte scan to add a colored marker and then click on the same area on the maxillary model. Repeat the same with two more areas. It is important that the colored shapes correspond to each other. To ensure better matching, we recommend placing points sufficiently spread out. If a point is misplaced, you can select it by pressing the control key and left clicking on the point or double clicking on the point and then dragging it around to its correct position or you can delete it by control clicking on it and then pressing the delete button on your keyboard. To add a new point if deleted, press control and then left click on the desired area. Should you wish to reset all your points, you can click on the clear all button on the right. You can also expand the screen by clicking on the four arrow icon on the right side and return to normal by pressing the escape key on your keyboard. Once the upper match is done, 
a check mark should appear next to the word upper on the top panel. Click the lower button under it and continue to match the mandibular arch. Once clicked, your previous dot marks on the bite will turn gray to avoid confusing the lower and upper arch markers. Should you want to switch back to the upper arch, click on the match upper button on the upper right section of the screen. This button will allow you to toggle back and forth between arches. Repeat the same matching steps for the lower arch, and after all three matching points have been placed for the upper and lower arches, click the Save and Next button to proceed with trimming. At this point, a validation screen will appear, which will help you ensure all your points have been matched properly. If there is a slight variation, it will be corrected with the automated alignment. Otherwise, you can click Cancel to go back and correct the points manually for a better match. Once everything looks good, please click Confirm to begin the trimming process. Trimming. Begin establishing a trim line on the maxillary arch by placing dots on the middle of the sulcus in the model. This can be done either by double-clicking with the left mouse button or by left-clicking while holding the control key on your keyboard to place points more quickly. Keep adding points until the last point connects to the first point. While adding waypoints, if you see that the connection line has become too long, please delete the point and reselect it closer to the previous one. The trim line must be connected in a circular pattern. You can add waypoints by clicking on the white connection lines. Modify any points in the line by double-clicking them until the dot becomes red and then dragging them to change position or clicking on the delete button to eliminate them. As before, if you wish to clear your progress completely, click on the Clear All button or click on the four arrow icon to expand the model to full screen. You may also click on the Undo, Redo button to revert to and from your last step. Sometimes you may see the line go under or across the freedom areas instead of above them. Do not worry. Once the arch is trimmed, it will do so above these areas. Once the upper trimming is done, a check mark should appear next to the word Upper on the top panel. Click the lower button under it and continue to trim the mandibular arch. Please note that if doing a single arch, it is still necessary to trim the opposing dentition model, especially in the case of the lower arch. This must be done so the Denka Design software can automatically arrange the teeth. Once the upper and lower trims are completed, click Done to continue. Once everything looks good, please click Save and Next to begin the next step. Extract. If you selected an immediate denture during the initial data entry selection, an extract step will appear at this point. Select the teeth or group of teeth that will be removed by creating dots around them in the same fashion as when you created a trim line. Then click on the following ascending number to draw a new line in a new area. Once done, please click on Save and Next to proceed to the Landmark Placement step. Please note that the teeth will not be removed until teeth generation. Landmarks The landmarks consist of three upper points and two lower points. Please select the incisive papilla on the first upper landmark, red. It is important to ensure that the landmarks are placed within the trim line. If the trim line was established too anteriorly, you can return to the previous step to adjust by clicking on Trim in the above panel, then Adjust, and click on Done to move forward again. Click the lower button to choose the two lower landmarks. In the case of a single arch upper, it's easier to set the lower landmarks on the distal of the last molars if present. This will ensure the occlusal plane is the desired height. You may once again select Move and Delete points using the same convention as before. Once you choose all the landmarks, click the Submit button. It will then ask you to verify your teeth selection. If your files are too big, it may take a minute to appear. 
Once verified, click Confirm. Denka Design will match, trim, extract, create the occlusal plane, and arrange the teeth automatically. This process will take approximately 1-5 to five minutes due to calculations and generation. Please note that immediate denture cases usually take more time. Once generated, the software will ask you to confirm alignment, trim line, and occlusal plane. Verification During this process, you will verify the matching, trimming, and occlusal plane placement. You may rematch or retrim as necessary. To ensure a good matching was done, look for a uniform meshing of purple and pink color. If you see too much of one color, or if it is visibly misaligned, you might have not selected points that precisely match during the match process. You may then click on Adjust Match to correct or next verification to proceed to the next step if everything is okay. You may also remove portions of the models by clicking or unclicking each individual section on the right side of the screen for better visibility. During the trim verification step, you will be able to confirm the border trimming. If doing an immediate denture, you will also be able to adjust the extract teeth trimming during this stage. During the occlusal plane verification phase, you may move the occlusal plane by left-clicking on it or rotate tilt as necessary by either holding the shift button or alternating the move rotate functions on the top of the screen. You may move the models by holding the right-click button on the mouse. You can also undo changes by clicking the undo button next to the other two. If the impression type is a wax rim, this is the place to align the occlusal plane accordingly. Lastly, there are different toggle view modes. You can hide certain parts of the denture by using the visibility menu on the right or see different views with the menu on top. Once finished, click on Save and Next. It will ask you to confirm the teeth size and then you will be sent to the teeth setup screen. Teeth Setup Dentka Design automatically generates an ideal tooth setup for your case based on the teeth and gum shape or style that you chose. There should be no need to modify the teeth at this point. However, if there are certain aesthetic parts that need to be customized, it can be done so at this stage. As a point of reference, the red dots over the teeth mark where the gums will generate. Teeth can be moved or rotated in a group or individually by selecting options at the bottom. For your convenience on the left side, you can find views from three different angles to facilitate orientation. You may move or rotate these orientations and reset them by clicking the looping arrow symbol on the middle of the screen. To move an individual tooth, control click on it and then select the arch and arrow symbol at the bottom, then drag the tooth while holding the left mouse button. If you would like to move teeth in both sides of the arch at the same time, you can use the mirror function to rotate or translate teeth as a set in a specific direction. To move a specific group of teeth, select the group from the bottom part of the menu and move them around as directed before. Also a ruler function exists to allow you to measure specific aspects of your denture, such as a canine to canine distance or the width or length of a particular tooth. Simply click on the image and then control and left click on two points to measure them. For your convenience, we have also created a 1mm grid function that can be activated on the right visibility menu and can be toggled to appear horizontally or vertically as needed. If space is limited, you may click on Function on the lower right side to remove the first premolars or second molars from the setup. You may change the tooth size or characteristics by clicking on the Change Teeth button at the upper section. 
In this menu, you can change any parameter previously selected and even reset the teeth setup by clicking on Yes at the Initialize Teeth Setup option at the bottom. You can also utilize the Check Contact function to determine if you have any active contacts in the arch. It will show so by making said teeth transparent. To adjust, move, or rotate the tooth until it changes color again. Please note that overlapping is not a big deal when it comes to printed. Since the teeth are printed in blocks, the software will automatically relieve the interproximal excess and merge the teeth for you. For single arches, please note that the software will automatically relieve any occlusal areas that are making active contact with the opposing dentition. It is recommended to intentionally slightly overlap the denture teeth cusps against the opposing dentition in order to obtain an ideal occlusal adjustment. To close or open the VD, you can utilize the toggle bar in the lower right corner. If you would like to share your case with someone else in order to discuss or get an opinion, use the share link function to copy and email the link to the corresponding person. Once you are satisfied with the teeth setup, submit the case for final generation. Please note that a minimum space for the base and teeth is necessary. If space is insufficient, an error will appear notifying you that the space is not enough to generate the denture and two red dots will appear to show where the early contacts are. Open VD up until the dots turn green. This will be a sign that enough space has been achieved. After a final gum and post dam confirmation is made, the final generation process will begin. This will be approximately 30 minutes to one hour. Since this is a web-based software, however, please note there is no need to wait for generation to complete before starting a new design. As soon as you click Submit to Final, you may start a new project. Ordering the final output. Once the final generation is done, the status of the case will change to complete. Also, you will receive a notification email saying that the case is complete. Click on the Completed button to view the final design. Please note that if the teeth are too close to the gum area, such as in cases with a short lip length, the gums might cover a portion of the teeth as minimal denture base thickness must be achieved. The designs are optimized for 3D printing and the STL files can be downloaded as try-in, final dentures, or all files at the same time. 